Welcome to the Arclight Battery, your power source for all things Warcraft Rumble related. In today's video, I'm going to be going over nerfs and buffs that I think will happen, or that I want to happen, uh, my opinions on the state of the game, as well as how I think you could fix and make PvP a little bit better. But before we get into the video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. I want to talk about nerfs first, and this might be a little controversial. Well, not this one. Uh, Baron. Baron needs a nerf. Um, his skeleton mages give you too much map pressure and gold control currently. Uh, they're very solid. I don't know how I want it to be changed, though. Either change how frequent they spawn, or maybe reduce the amount of health they have. They're extraordinarily tanky for being skeleton mages. Uh, I, I would think that mages would have less HP than the normal ones. Just in the nature of video games, mages are weaker than the warriors. Have less health, less armor, things like that. Uh, however, I was playing Jaina versus Baron the other day. Um, and a plus three level chain lightning did not kill a mage. It just leaves it with a sliver of health, which is... Kind of obnoxious, their health pool is way too big. Other nerfs that I think should happen. Honestly, I think everything's pretty well balanced besides Baron. Maybe Murkai is a little little ahead of some other leaders, but even things like Quillbore and Safe Pilot, I think that they are only strong in PvP currently because of how good they are at map and bridge control. Or not, not map and bridge control, but bridge and gold treasure chest control. Um, there are a lot of units that get played right now that are strictly to control treasure chests because that's the name of the PvP map right now, is claim the gold, do chip damage to the opponent's base, and you'll eventually win the game. However, I think when we get to the next map, we'll see some of these units start to fall off a little bit, though safe pilot would be the one that would need a nerf, I think, if, uh, if they were going to adjust anything. Maybe you could adjust her initial crash damage. Uh, that seems to be where you get the most benefit out of her. But I really think she's okay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she is just overtuned. But I really think it's because she's very solid at bridge control and claiming treasure chests currently. So I think most units are in a very good spot. Um, what do I want to see buffed? Well, I mean, I would love to see Thalnos get buffed. He was nerfed into the ground over a bug he had in beta, um, and they really haven't fixed him yet. They even made him worse by giving him a 10 level cap, so not something I'm super happy about. I really hope he gets a little buff. Sylvanas is terrible. Um, six gold cost for what she does is not great. She spawns a banshee when she dies, which is fine, but is that really what you want? what you want your leader to be doing for 6 gold. Other than that, she gives things 30% movement speed around her. It's not great. I think if I were to change Sylvanas, I would lower her cost by 1. I think that's probably enough to make her at least playable. And down those, I would up his lifesteal percentage on his lifesteal talent. Um, he already doesn't do a lot of damage, and his lifesteal percentage is abysmal so maybe up that by double maybe at least start with that uh, because it feels really low right now i think that's how i would change those things that i would like to see changed um honestly just charlga her leader ability is so i'm gonna say unfun i think some people really enjoy it but i think that enjoyment wears off after a handful of games She's not great, and I don't find her leader ability to be fun, and I honestly don't know what I would change it to. I don't know that I would revert it back to what it was in beta, but I definitely don't want it to stay how it is now. So, I don't know. If anyone has great ideas for Charoga and how you would change her, please leave them in the comments. It would be awesome to hear. Okay, let's talk about what I think is going to happen. Not what I think should happen, but what I think will happen. So, I think Baron will get adjusted a little bit. I don't know what they're going to do to him, but I think he'll get adjusted somehow. I honestly don't think they're going to nerf anything other than Baron. Um, I think he's the only thing they're touching. 
And I don't think they're going to buff anything either. I think that... I think that just for a new season, I think they're going to deal with the most egregious things and dial them down just a little bit, which I think is fair, and that's about it. Um, and then I think they're okay with the state of how everything else is. Maybe they'll buff Thalanus a little bit, if I had to guess, just because of how bad he is. Maybe Sylvanas too. Those are the things I want. Um, but if I were to expect something, it would just be to tune up Baron a little bit. Um, and now let's go into another topic um, about PvP. So, currently... PvP is really difficult. Um, you stop having a level ceiling uh, after 3k honor. So it's, I believe it's level 1 from 0 to 1000, and then level 2 from 1000 to 2000, and then level 5 um, from 2000 to uh, 3000. I really want them to add another floor or rather ceiling, maybe from like, I don't know, 3,000 to 4,000 honor, you can have a max level of level 7. Um, I think that would help out players a lot. Um, especially, it, it would help push people into this 4k bracket. When you get this high, it's really hard to find matches sometimes. Um, the top players are using VPNs currently to travel to whatever server is the most congested and so even though it's separated by region you can just hop over and play and so really we need more players than this bracket how do they get there i don't know it's really hard to get them there when they don't have high level minis um there needs to be another ceiling for your minis also pvp rewards are kind of abysmal honestly so it makes it really hard to incentivize people to push very high like this is 14,300 and it's just a modest xp tome how much is a modest xp tome let's look at our collection level and find out modest xp tomes are 470 experience that is nothing so you get three choices so what that's 7 14 21 What's that? 14? Roughly 1400 XP. Um, that is like a drop in the bucket for what players need, especially if you're able to get as high as Dark Iron or higher. Um, and honestly, the rewards are so stretched out. Like, we have one person that will probably hit 20k. But all of these other players down here are super solid. They're all fantastic players, but none of them are going to get half of the rewards because you play so many games to just get there. Um, it's really unfortunate. If I were to adjust this, I think I would add the ceiling up to 4k, and then I would squish this 20k down to 15 um, and then maybe increase what the rewards are that you get. Because, like, even all the way up here at 19,000 is just a major tome. Like, that is not that much XP. It's just, once again, just a drop in the bucket. What's a major tome give? I don't think we looked at that earlier. 940. So, 270 X or 2700 experience. It's a drop in the bucket. And you're spending all of your time to get up there. Now, there are some lucrative rewards, like the emote that I will probably not get, but we'll see. Um, heroes, gold, and this legendary core. But most of the time, you're not going to be spending legendary cores. If you're free to play, you're definitely not going to be spending them. Um, I have a couple from completing Onyxia and the Heroic Campaign. But I still haven't used them because they cost 20,000 Arclight Energy apiece. If I did that, I would run out of Arclight Energy for Epic Upgrades. And Epic Upgrades give two levels, while these only give one. So, use them at your own risk if you ever get them. But yeah, I think to fix PvP, we've got to get more players into this higher bracket. 
to do so, I think you introduce another floor ceiling up to 4k, and you squish these rewards down to 15k, um, and make them more lucrative, because right now, they're just almost not worth playing for. You're only playing if you enjoy it. And it takes so long to rank up as well. You gain like 50 points a win, maybe, depending on what rank the other person was. So you really have to win a lot and not lose very much to get all the way up here. It's pretty rough right now, but I hope they do something uh, on Sunday that will fix PvP or make it a little better. And I also hope they nerf Baron by a little bit. Other than that, I hope they just leave the game alone. It seems to be in an okay spot, and I think we'll really see what minis shine without treasure chests on this next PvP map. So, tell me what you think in the comments. I'm really looking forward to hearing your opinions. Um, and just thank you so much for being here. Until next time.